hello to you. How are you? How's life? Life is good. Good, good. Yes, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, you're nominated for... You won, How long ago was it you won the Oscar for Monster? Uh, 16 years 16 ago. 16 years ago. Wow. Yeah, I don't think long... we had iPhones back then. <laughs> no, it was a long... That's a long time ago. You didn't have children back then. I did then. not have children. Here's the difference. Uh, when I got my nomination for that one, because they do it really early at, like, 5-something, right. uh, I slept... That, th I was still sleeping till, like, 10.30. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I remember those days when you could still sleep till 10.30. Vaguely. Yeah. Vaguely, Not yeah. anymore. Now, this nomination, I was... Uh, I was dealing with two sets of uh, pea sheets. You know, because I I'm, I'm diaper draining my four year old. Oh, right now. okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get her out of her night diapers. Oh, so boy. It was a yeah. rough night. <laughs> yeah. We had a Very rough night different. last night. Very similar circumstances oh, yeah? going on. Yeah. Except the worst. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Oh, no, I've never had to deal with that. Oh, you never have. Really? Wow. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, it's a disgusting topic. I'm sorry yeah. to even bring it up. No, it's Do the uh, kids know that real. you're nominated, that you in yeah. about these awards? Yes. Yes. Uh, you know, it's been a thrilling couple of weeks. I was nominated for a Golden Globe. I right? was nominated for a Critics' Choice. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh, like, is it okay to be enthusiastic? Yes, yes. Please be, because uh, my children aren't. They so aren't. Okay. Please. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, spoiler alert: I didn't win. Uh, right. Yes. Yes. Did you tell them? Oh that? my God! You guys sound like them. <laughs> that were was kind just... of the reaction. Yeah. They were. They were. It was a mixture of super sad and also kind of angry. Like, really. You didn't win? Like, <laughs> kind of like, uh, yeah, they were upset. The little one was like, well, I really wanted you to win. Uh huh. Like, angry. And the other, my eight year old was just like, just pure disappointment, you know? And, and so when the, when the Oscar nominations came in, it was like, you know, the third time that they were like, now they're suspicious. They're just like, Will you win this time? <laughs> and I That's said, you lot. know, listen, there's a good shot. I'm probably not going to win. And my oldest just went, well, this sounds like a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> Have you figured out, like, your plan for the Oscars? Who you will bring? Will you bring a date to the Oscars? Yes, I'm taking... I usually take my mom. It's usually a, uh -huh. a mom-daughter night. Yes. Gotcha. And she's fun. She's are really you still fun. watching The Bachelor? You are, yes. Did you do you like this season so far? Yes, it's really good. Don't you think it's good? Well, you know, the, none of them are really good, but it's good in their... <laughs> Wait, explain that to me. How, <laughs> how can you say such a thing? Well, because this is usually a huge waste of time. It's similar mm. to what your kids were saying. I mean, it Got is it. a... I sometimes look at Got all it. the hours that I've... I've logged yes. watching the show, yes. and I think about the languages I could have learned to speak. Let's be honest, that was never gonna happen anyway. Yeah, that's true. So you might as well have something that you You're enjoy. Right. I mean, let's it be wasn't, honest. But I like to think of it that way, <laughs> just to punish myself for watching the show. Oh, it's so good. And maybe even worst of all, yeah. rarely is there a relationship at the end, mm -hmm. and yet we continue. We continue to, to buy into yes. it. It's like if, if like on Jeopardy, Nobody ever won any money. You really sound like Jackson Mars Aaron, my eight-year-old. Yeah, it's a that's waste what of people time. say to yeah. me a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a waste of time. It is true. None of those relationships. I mean, there's some of them they have kids now and stuff. So some of them, but I didn't watch those. You did, yes. Not as religiously as I watch the train wreck. Uh, really? Does some of them have kids? I think one couple. No, there's has a few. No, no, there's a few. The there's first like, one, Tristan. Well, and Ryan. one of them might be from like. Uh, paradise. Oh, so you might be right. That doesn't count. The it, Bachelor it Paradise. Kinda, it's kind of. I mean, come on. They got married and they have a kid. That's a huge accomplishment. They might as well just put a, a camera uh, in a motel at spring break. True. <laughs> True. And then we celebrate. And their your life. problem is what? <laughs> you really like it, though. I do. I really what like it. What is it, it yeah. that you love about the show? Well, uh, I love the unpredictability. Uh huh. I love that. What? Uh, the unpredictability. My wife yes. literally picks the winner the first episode wow. every single year. Listen, even if I had that skill, which I don't, mm -hmm. it kind of ruins the show, though, don't you think? You want to kind of... You almost have to give yourself a small lobotomy 
so that you don't pick it, and then you can enjoy it. Because yeah. if you pick it, then it's kind of done, right? Well, but you don't right know now, for sure you're going to be right, so then you're like, okay, maybe I'll be right. Maybe I won't be right. That's part of the fun. Listen, right now, they're all winners in my book. <laughs> they all have a shot. They What's all the have a shot. What's the worst date you ever went on? Oh, God. Without getting too disgusting or terrible. <laughs> so I went on a date in my 20s with this guy who was really super handsome. I was, like, really into it. And he picked me up for dinner. We went and had dinner. It was lovely. Like, I was like, this is going really well. And he drove me home. And, you know, I kind of signaled that I was in for a kiss. Like, if he wanted to be like, you know, you do that thing. Or it's like, yeah. you gonna... So I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> Explain your problem with the Bachelor. Uh, anyway, it might he, explain a lot of my problems. I yeah. get it. I get it. Yeah. He pulled over uh, by my house and uh, we started kissing and it was really good. And and then he pulled away and whispered, "Make out with my nose." Make out with my nose. <laughs> <laughs> what? And and he wasn't. This wasn't a joke. I make out with my nose. <laughs> what? Wow. I swear on my life, like I, I, I've never forgotten it because I'm still, I've yet to meet another person who likes <laughs> to have somebody make out with their nose. I've never met another person. Who there are, well, there aren't any other people besides him. <laughs> To, 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 he and wasn't I, kidding, or no? He was like really into it, and I, uh -huh. I started like giggling, and then, cause he was like, like it was good, so I didn't want to like mess it up. Right. So I gave him like a little peck on the nose, uh -huh. and he was like, no, make out with it. And that was <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> the, you, the bachelorette gets a rose, you got a nose. Oh my god. Yeah. All right, we're gonna take a break. On that hilarious note, Charlize Theron is here with us. Her movie is Bombshell. Roger needs you. Your silence is being noticed. Well, the whole point of an investigation is to find the truth, Janine. Until that happens, I don't have a lot to say. If this charge sticks, the working assumption will be every woman at Fox got down on her knees. Even you. If we sweep this thing under the rug, Janine, and it happens again, under Title VII, Fox would be liable for compensatory and punitive damages. That could be hundreds of millions. Let's worry about the law before we do the PR, okay? That is Charlie Stern in Bombshell. It's in theaters now. N let me tell you something. You, you sound exactly like Megyn Kelly. Oh. I, I didn't even know you could impersonate Megyn Kelly until I saw you. And in fact, I spoke about this during the commercial break with Margot Robbie, but like, it's unbelievable how much you sound like her. Oh, my are God. You, are you regularly good at imitating? No, 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 no. People no, in your life or anything like no, that? No, no, I, I don't have that natural ability at all. I mean, I like when I uh, do this kind of work, I, I like to kind of, uh, give it a shot, you know, because I felt like she's so well known that that would be, and she's so distinctive with her sound. So I worked with this incredible woman, Carla Meyer, here in Los Angeles, and there should be a, an Oscar category for dialect coaches because I not it's not an easy thing for me to do. And she got me to kind of understand why Megan sounds the way that she does. Why which is does a, she sound the way she does? It's complicated, <laughs> and it took us a very, very long time to figure it out. And for a good six weeks there, I didn't think it was going to happen. It was pretty... But I have this dog who is kind of like my dog husband. You know, he's always just right next to me. His uh -huh. name is Berkeley. And uh, he's a rescue, but he's just always right where I am. That's where he is. And so, he sat with me for hundreds of hours trying to get this sound right. Did you know? he get it? No, he. I mean, he. That would be something. I, fe I felt bad that he had to, but he he's committed in this relationship with me. <laughs> and uh, and so six weeks into it, I got a little panicked. I was like, I don't think this is going to happen. And then I did this uh, kind of monologue, and I gave it a real shot. And, uh, and out of nowhere, Berkeley, who's just been asleep for six weeks, by my feet went... <laughs> like, he had this look in his face where he was like, why are you sounding like that? You're not my mom. Really? And that's when I was like, oh, I think we're there. <laughs> I think we're there. Yeah, if you can convince the dogs.
You didn't recognize the voice. Your co-star Margot Robbie is nominated as well. Yeah. Which is, uh, it, it, yeah, it's nice. You get uh, you get to go there together and represent yes. the movie together. Really that was kind of, am I correct in saying that that kind of began the, uh, what was now known as the Me Too movement, that yes. situation at Fox News? It really was the first story that kind of catapulted us into this movement that we find ourselves in right now. So when Gretchen Carlson filed this lawsuit against Roger Ailes, for sexual harassment, she was really completely alone because none of the women really at Fox came forward with their stories for a good two weeks. Mm -hmm. And there was no Me Too or Time's Up that could really support her. So she really was one of the first women to do something like this and then succeed. You know, not only did she succeed with the lawsuit, other women came forward, shared their stories. She also got a, an apology from Fox. Roger Ailes was let go. I mean, it's it's a huge accomplishment for a lot of these women. Have you spoken to any of those women, any of those characters that were in the film? And uh, Megyn Kelly, maybe, even in particular? I would imagine Megyn Kelly, as uncomfortable as she was, she must have been so flattered that you were playing her. I think that it's hard uh, to kind of relive something like this, you know? Uh -huh. I think sexual harassment is... It's one of, uh, I think, the most pervasive, you know, horrible things that can happen to a man or a woman in their workplace. And the idea of kind of having to relive it is a, is a tough one. And we, we really wanted to be respectful to them, um, to all of the women who were part of the story. But I do think that they were very um, gracious in understanding the power of their story. And therefore, you know, they just recently released a clip, uh, Megyn Kelly did, that she... Uh, watched the movie with a few of the women, and they, they kind of talked about the film. And you know, and Megan in her Megan way had a few issues, of course, it mm -hmm. was expected. But the one thing that they could all agree on was that the essence of what it felt like to work there, and 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 what it felt like to be under that pressure, that constant pressure of being threatened or your job being threatened, um, to them was something that moved them incredibly, and so. That was really validating for us in the film. We wanted to get that part right. Well, you definitely, it seems like you got it right. And also, it is very w entertaining to watch as well. Yes, it's called right? Bombshell. And uh, Charlie Sterrett is nominated for an Oscar for it. Thank you for being here. We'll be right back with Brian Cox. Hey, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Give back this holiday season in a fun way. Buy my new book, The Serious Goose. I wrote it and drew it. All the money I make goes to children's hospitals across the country. Or watch another gaming video and don't help kids. It's up to you.